Welcome to our new learning. This time, let's discuss how to read the electrical riser diagram. So, this is the typical electric riser diagram. Ang application nito is uh, for a four-story building, which is a dormitory. So, if you see this one, so Kung pwede mo na tong babasa, you can implement this on site if this is your project. Okay, so uh, for this, kahit, uh, let's do the visualization muna before we zoom, zoom in. So did you notice that we have four floors? We have one, two, second floor, third floor, and then the tong fourth floor natin. Uh, I can ask you if saan ka pwedeng mag-start kung dito ka ba sa entry this one entry or ito yung sa parang last portion ng load mo so for me I can read the plan it's either from the electric entry or dun sa uh, upper topmost ng ating plan but for this time uh, we can have read that on the uh, sa utility portion from that, lock on the lock on the left side. We have the power service entrance. So, ito yung galing kay Meralco. After that, baba siya ng fuse cut out. And then, secondary distribution transformer from the high side to the low side. Let me say 34.5 kilovolts down to 230 volts or 400 after that go to the ECB or enclosed circuit breaker outside after that uh, connect to the automatic transfer switch which is itong transfer switch uh, supplies to the MDP or known as main distribution panel aside from that it connects to the generator sets Teto. so naka back up yung ating ETS Teto. if yung Miralco is if you say wala ng supply so this gen sets can uh, automatically really, uh, uh, light up the, the building we just delay of seconds. Okay, so itong mga tagging na to, merong wire. So ito yung conductor wire na parang yung nagko-connect sa equipment to equipment. Two sets of 100 square mm TH and ito yung conductors natin. After that, going from ETS to MDP. So si MDP Si MDP uh, supplies to the itong EDM. Itong EDM is actually terms as admin, admin panel or common area. Si admin panel uh, supplies to the PE, panel board at the ground floor, common area. Itong PB, panel board at the second floor, yung mga common areas, and sa third floor ito, PC. Okay, so, and then, itong CMDP, nag-supply siya uli dito sa ating, ito, yung PLS. And then, itong sa APCP, uh, power pump. Actually, uh, correction lang, itong si, itong si FC, si, uh, APCP, ito yung power pump. If you see the connection, directly connected siya sa TS. Hindi siya dumaan sa mismong MDP. So, the main reason is that if yung power nag-occur yung power doon sa mismong MDP room, so else mag-shut down yung MDP, so wala na supply itong ating power, power, power pump. If we connect that doon sa ating ETS, so 
if mawala ng supply si MDP, so si ATS is directly to the gensets, which is the gensets uh, supplies to the power pump at any critical conditions. Okay, so yun yung, yun yung concept. Actually, uh, that connection also specifies to sa ating electrical code. Nakalagay din doon. Okay, so the MDP ito supplies to the second floor. Ito yung kanyang meter center. So, meter center 1, meter center 2 sa third floor, and then meter center 3 sa ating fourth floor. So, may to say that uh, yung floor na yan is actually naka-occupy siya, rent, rent, uh, rented. Then, itong unit on, itong mga tenant, sila yung magbabayad ng bill sa mismong admin. Okay, so yun, yun yung concept ng submittering. So, this one, so meron tayong limang uh, limang kilowatt hour meter for 5. More on sa third floor, the same din. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sa ating third floor, a uh, fourth floor, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so yun yung concept ng secondary metering dun sa ating mga uh, tenant. Quick review. Uh, again, this is a uh, a dormitory building, no? So, ang concept ng uh, unit is naka-submitter sila. Kaya meron tayong apat na uh, submitters or meter center. Actually, yung sir, bakit walang ground floor? Actually, yung ground floor is for uh, commercial space. So, this PLS, ito yung panel board ng commercial. Ah, hindi ko na-mission kanina. So, yun yung panel board sa commercial. So, isang unit lang siya. Okay. So, yung meter center mo na yan, directly siya nag-tap dito sa ating MDP. Ito, MDP na to. Nag-tap sila doon ng power kanya-kanya. Saka itong admin, itong admin na to, so, yung consumption nito is under sa, yung sa mismong owner ng building, sila yung magbabayad. And then, si MDP connected siya sa ETS. Which is, yung ETS is naka set. Okay, so, that ETS, ito yung directly connected sa uh, Meralco. And then, yung text, kung napasin nyo, ito yung size ng conductor wire. Frequency to square mm, width to square mm. Yun yung wire na pumunta dun sa kanilang connection point. Okay, so, if you read this one already, you can apply this on all your projects. Kahit nung complicated projects pa yan, siguro huwag yung masyadong complicated. It takes time to understand, to interpret. But this one is sim simple lang to na single line uh, riser diagram. So, I hope you have learned a lot uh, for this short content. Uh, please subscribe para malert ka sa updated videos na i-upload ko. Thank you.